next tonight. The beleaguered boss of Bolton Council has told Granada reports he won't resign after a controversial decision to give £300,000 of public money to a private company. Yeah, Council leader Cliff Morris has been under pressure for weeks over the grant to ASIN solicitors. But he has now said, although lessons need to be learnt, he has done nothing wrong. Our political correspondent Joe Pike has more. Budgets in Bolton are tight. Since 2010, the council have made budget cuts of £100 million, including 1,500 job losses. So a decision made by this man has provoked a lot of anger. At a time of austerity, council leader Cliff Morris decided to give £300,000 of public money to local law firm ASIN Solicitors. The grant was for the company to refurbish their new offices in the town's church gate. But do they really need the cash? Chief Executive Imran Akram has tweeted about buying his sixth Lamborghini in four years. ASIN solicitors have told us they won't comment on this story, but we do know they moved into this building over the summer. The new office is said to boast a pool table, a football table and a Samsung Smart TV in every room. Yet it was only after they moved here that Cliff Morris approved that grant for £300,000. And his decision was not debated amongst council colleagues. Councillor Morris signed off the payment behind closed doors using emergency powers. The clues in the title, usually emergency powers, is the uh, falling in of a roof at a school, it's a flooding where you need to access money because it's emergency powers. That decision cannot be called in by us as an opposition. It cannot be challenged. There is nowhere, that decision is made. There is nowhere we can go now to reverse that decision. The backlash in Bolton has been considerable. From councillors... I think Councillor Morris should consider his position very, very carefully. So he should go or not? Yes, he should go. If he can't answer those facts satisfactorily, I think he's got no option but to go. To other local law firms... This money wasn't offered to other firms of solicitors my size or indeed larger firms in the area. And even trade unions. We believe that this decision is a flawed decision, it's a flawed business model, it's not been done transparently and it's money taken away from frontline services. We repeatedly asked Bolton Council for an interview with Cliff Morris. They repeatedly said no and refused to supply a statement. Good morning Councillor Joe. When we eventually caught up with him he defended his decision arguing he's keeping business and jobs in Bolton and the money will be made back in business rates. We've given public money out this week. Are you, are you going to challenge that? £300,000 to another private company, Councillor? Uh, we give it out to many private companies across the Have world. you ever given that much money to a private company before using emergency powers? We must have done, I don't know. You can't remember? No. Nobody had a say in £300,000 going to ASIN solicitors. That was you and you alone. No, it wasn't me and me alone. When all the checks have been done, don't forget, these things go through a, go through a, a stream of things, and that's how they happen. I, signed, I happened to be the one that signed it off. It was You're the leader of the council. Me. Just a minute, let me finish. It wasn't for ASINs, it was for a building. Let's get that straight. But it went to ASINs. It went to the, to the building, which we had to have all checked. The, the building is owned by ASIN, though, isn't it? Oh, that's a matter of opinion. Yes, it is owned by ASIN. It's not a matter of opinion. It, it is or isn't. Well, it is owned by ASIN. Is there any sense of regret on your part, Councillor? There's no sense of regret. There's a sense that we, we have to learn from this. What do you have to learn? We have to learn that when we do things, we're accountable. And I am accountable, and I accept the accountability. Will you resign? No. Why not? Because I've done nothing wrong. Bolton Council's auditors are now investigating the grant and are likely to release their findings in the new year. Joe Pike, ITV News, Bolton.